Welcome to First Minister's Questions Review. This week I'm joined by two special guests, Elliot Bulmer Morning. of the Constitution Commission. I'm not sure what your title is there. Research Director. Research Director. Uh, doctor yes. of Philosophy. Indeed. Good. Teacher of the love of wisdom, apparently. Good. <laughs> Alex Grant, an executive from the, uh, the Constitution oh, Commission. Just the job's worth. The job's worth. <laughs> yeah. um, and the regular contributors, Phil Ashridge, former politician, Norrie Stewart, political blogger, and uh, myself, Stuart Lockhead. Well, I'll start at the far end with, uh, with Norrie. Today we had all three opposition leaders making a they all got to ask a question, even we, Willie. <laughs> what did you think of today's? I, thought, I actually thought Joanne did well. I mean, that's two weeks in a row. She's, yeah, she did all right. She, I mean, she's there to attack him. She did attack him. Um, a bit unfortunate that it was an act of God. You might accuse Alexander of being God, but he certainly doesn't control floods. <laughs> um, and it was a flood, apparently, that led to Grampian have a longer waiting list than usual. She went down the NHS route. They're always going to do it. There's always something in the NHS. There is always something wrong with the NHS. You know, and it's fairly safe ground. Um, not particularly impressive, but a delivery. I, I thought she did well today. Alex got right into her. Name Essen. Rolled up his sleeves and polished his old boots and put the boot in. He did well. He beat her. But she is definitely getting more confident. She seems to start, as soon as she stood up, she seems to be more confident yeah, today. Yeah, she's definitely getting more confident and she's stopped wearing jackets that look like she's camouflaged for some posh jungle. She look, she's beginning to look the part, she definitely is. Um, um, she's still reading from a script, but it's not as obvious and hands aren't shaking. So from a delivery point of view, yeah. Content, not impressed. Ruth? Well, Ruth, Ruth doesn't do badly. You know, um, I was a bit surprised because normally Ruth's got an answer to the question that's a bit nastier than the question. Yeah. That didn't happen this week. Um, you mean like it's all down to the Tories down south, or your, yeah. uh, your question is the opposite of your the policy of the no, no, Conservative she, Party she, down south? She's usually got some feedback. I, I yeah. would disagree with you to the extent it was painfully obvious when she asked the question. She knew what the next hit was. And it was, well, your pals up there have actually contradicted you. She did say that. I mean, he got around it, but she was actually suggesting... Yeah, but, I mean, she's been there before. No, no, I know she's she has. She's what, second, third time she's asked the, the same, same question. Same question, I know. Well, she obviously thinks there's some mileage in it. No, it's not working for her. No, I, I wouldn't disagree with that. But she's, co she's competent. I mean, she delivers well. Well, Alex was very firm in refuting what she said. Yeah, so, I mean, he's, he's confident he can prove that the legal challenge has led to the delay. It's also a local issue for him, as it been. Yeah, as, as, I mean, he, in, in both questions, he did the same with the... He stuck to the Grampian question, which is his... And what about the milk one? Who we really well, <laughs> well, I mean, Willie, Willie revisited the polis again. Yeah, again, yeah. About yeah. who's got the power over the budget. But, you know, the discussions are tomorrow. And it was always going to be Alex's way out. And he did it. Well, what about um, sticking to policy and not uh, playing the man or the woman, as, you, as it might be? Well, Nicola got a bit of a kick in. Yeah, again. I, I, I yeah. kind of predicted that. Yeah, you did. Um, I wonder what they would do if she was standing in for the First Minister. I wonder if they'd take her on, if she could answer for herself. Yeah, um, oh, I think, I think she'd make mince But on. after the kicking that Salmon's had in Westminster, with both the Lords and the Commons, maybe everybody just tried to run out of ways to kick him. All right, then, uh, Phil. Ruth, um, well, I wasn't that really impressed, because, again, it's, she looks very shifty when she's reading from this script. The eyes go up there, and they roll around there, and I did notice the tremor. But she was the hands were tre trembling together, so maybe Ruth, you didn't know. Not Ruth, that's Joanne, right. Joanne. Joanne, Joanne. Um, why did I say Ruth? Oh, maybe I was going to give her a point. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> content not there again, and it's all attack Nicola, attack Nicola, simply because they're actually probably scared of Nicola Sturgeon. Actually, that's probably one of the main reasons why they keep attacking her, because she's also very, very popular. Um, Salmon, I thought, was absolutely yeah. He came out fighting, and I must admit. When he whacked her right below the belt, actually, with Mr. Sawa, you know, yeah, um, him and his 
well, if I could use the term, the Vidcanites down in the, in, the, in the British Parliament, you know, just showing how proud they are of being Scottish and all the rest of it. Top of them is they're all terrified because you know, Scotland does get independence, they're out of a job. They'll have to probably move down south to get a job. Um, Ruth, good delivery. I'll give her that, but again, and you can see it, it's that Tory, because they're all laughing. They're not really interested in, in, in the answer or anything. They've just been nasty Tories. Uh, but she did do a good delivery. I'll the nasty that. party. That's a, tautolo well, that's a tautology, by the way. <laughs> nasty Tories. <laughs> nasty Tories, yes, 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 yes. Nasty well, terrible Tories. Tories. Well, that's why I thought Milk Monarch, you know, he stands there and he kind of looks, and it's, well, it's kind of, he's trying to be statesman-like, but he is, he's like a wee boy that's just got a job as a Milk Monarch, he's got his badge, and he's doing his best to do it, so, uh, not impressed. Not impressed. Well, Elliot. Well, uh, I wanted to make a, a sort of more general point first of yes, all, which, which is that it, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to watch uh, First Minister's questions. Um, here we have a system of parliamentary democracy in which rather than kneeling at the feet of a king and saying yes sire, no sire, three bags full sire, we put people into a bear pit of a parliament yeah. and, and get them to, to argue it out. And, and you know, whenever I watch these things, um, sometimes you get frustrated by the, the sheer politicking of it and the, and the, and the, the point scoring, dare I say. Um, but that serves a useful function, and then you get into you know some practical bread and butter constituency questions as well. So, um, you know, I'm I'm glad that we live in a place where where this can take place. But what struck me more than anything else was that it only works when you have a strong, credible opposition, and Scotland does not have a strong, credible opposition. Um, it, looking at, at, at Joanne Lamont and, and and her performance, well. She, she might have improved, but she is not a credible alternative for the office of First Minister. Yeah. There is nothing in her performance or her conduct that gives me the slightest shred of uh, confidence that she could do a better job. You couldn't see her standing shoulder to shoulder with Angela Merkel at uh, oh, no, not the EU meeting? I mean, uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. The, 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 the First Minister's... Uh, no, First comment, his response to the, to the opening question, was statesmanlike. Mm. He did not make those initial comments about the, 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 the terrorist situation in Algeria as a party leader or as, you know, the, the head of an overgrown regional assembly. He spoke as the national leader mm. and as a statesman, he rising does, above party He politics. does enjoy that role. He yeah. does. Uh, I mean, he'll make an excellent president one day, but, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, but um, no, he, he, he suits that role of national leader perhaps even better than he suits the, the minutiae of a policy-making... Well, I like the idea then, Matt, that he might be a better president than prime minister, so... Yeah, I mean, if, if there is going to be an independent state, the, the initial plan, as we all know, is to keep the Queen, um, but I think he would... But he would relish that job of being a, a non-executive head of state, a kind of roving ambassador for Scotland, um, and he'd probably do very well at that, uh, because he definitely steps up into that statesman-like role very well, in a way that Joanne Lamont, well, delivery may be a bit better, but the content's just not there. That the, the, She doesn't have what you need to be in a, a high-level leadership, policy-making role, which is well, look, intelligence. Look, if she was saying... If we were back in power, we would be doing it very differently. But she never does. No. Because she, she's afraid to, to reveal what the new Labour policy will well, be. Well, well, that's because that. we didn't do it well. That's the whole point. That's, that's why she doesn't visit that, because well, we it's not, didn't. It's not just that, though, Phil. I, you know, Miliband doesn't do that either. And no. oppositions, Elliot's 100% right in terms of credibility as a states person. Yeah. But oppositions see their role as attack, attack, attack. Don't say attack, attack. We would have done this. They don't. They avoid that like the plague. Miliband does it every week, and because Cameron stands up every week and says, "Well, it's all very well for you to say that, but what would you have done?" 
And of course, he never answers it because he th- he sees his role as well. Actually, I don't have to answer that. Yeah, that's true. I, my 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 role is to undermine your credibility. Uh, I don't think that makes for a healthy politics. Oh no, no, I, mean, I, I think, no, I think it, it makes. It, you're, you're right. No, it you're doesn't. Right. But, it, but it's the same it's as Westminster. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's 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 what, about, what about the minor players and uh, the, the, the Ruth? The minor players. Willie. Ruth, I think she comes across as a little bit more statesman-like. Um, in, well, in she, the non-gender bear in mind she was she she's bound to perform. Yeah. She was a professional television presenter. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah she, she comes across better. <sighs> she asked a very sort of specific question. I, she then went down this sort of strange line of, you, "Well, you're lying to the house again, aren't you? Yeah. You need to go and have your weekly trip to correct the record," yeah, yeah. which yeah. I thought was a bit of a cheap shot. Um, Nasty story. It, <laughs> Your words, not mine. Uh, 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 as for the uh, the illustrious leader of the Liberal Democrats in Scotland, um, this, this 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 fine and mighty party of Gladstone, oh, look what it has become. Um, do you know? I have a certain sympathy for him on this question. Um, the the structure of how policing is governed, funded, inspected, monitored, and held accountable is absolutely fundamental yeah. to the, the health of a democratic society. Yeah. And um, no, right. the, 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 the police authority legislation, I don't think was a very good piece of legislation. There might be a case for having a single national police authority in Scotland. Mm. Um, I think there's a much stronger case also for backing that up with sort of municipal police, and, but that's a simple yeah. question. No, I but think it, you're right. I he, agree with he you. He raised an important question, and I, I feel that that does deserve a... A, a decent answer. No, um, I think you're right. It's a bit yeah. like when, uh, when, whenever the question of the Megarahi um, Lockerbie Convention comes up, and uh, the, the firmness with which the executive, not just um, Alex Salmon, but also Kenny McCaskill, rejects any possibility that anything went wrong, it worries me. Well, they don't actually. I take issue with you slightly, sure. It does worry me as well. But they don't actually say that. They say it's a, it's not for us to to make any comment on that, because the SCCRC made it quite clear that there were several significant issues in the well, exactly. investigation. They they keep getting out from under by saying, well, it's nothing mm. to do with me, I, I, it's somebody else who's got to sort that out, That's true. which right. I think is a problem. That's fair. Alex, let's, so what do you think about the, the performances of our four illustrious leaders today? Okay, well, it was certainly less of a steady Rami than it's been in the past, which has been as you guys have said in some of your previous reviews, um, and as, oh, what's his name, the Pete Warrior actually wrote quite a good article about it and wondered whether there was a strategy to basically totally undermine the credibility by turning it into a state, state mm-hmm. Rami. I actually thought it was a lot better than some of the previous things. Um, I agree with Elliot totally in terms of uh, uh, John Lamont's uh, ability, although again, somewhat cynically, I suspect that Miliband is quite happy to have John Lamont as the leader of the Labour Party in yeah. in Holyrood mm. because all it says is Holyrood isn't up to the mark. Mm. They, they, I, actually, I actually believe if they had the choice between putting somebody who actually could deliver the way Elliot said the, the leader of the opposition should be able to deliver and put in a second raider, they'd choose a second raider because I really do believe their strategy is don't make it look credible enough for, for people to take seriously. And I, and I have met and continue to meet people whose first, whose opening gambit is, well, of course, it's a bloody, you know, it's, it's, well, what was it's Tony, rubbish. What was Tony Blair's part? What was Tony? Was, what, uh, Tony? Paris Council. Yeah, just a Paris Council. Imagine if we had a Robin Cook as the leader of the opposition. Uh, uh, well, well it's a different thing. But look, anyway, look, uh, let's just go back. Let's run through uh, the... I think, I think, jo- I think Joan Lamont, uh, despite that lack of gravitas, Actually, she's, she, she has a strategy, and the strategy, as she, as she uh, uh, articulated it, is this, the NHS issue is another example of you dissembling. You, you continue to lie, 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 and they're going to keep on over that. Anything they can come up with that says, well, actually, Nicola Sturgeon said this, it turned out not to be true. Now, in Salmon and asking the, answering the question, talked only about Grampian. The problem you have here with the NHS is there seem to be several examples of either poor accountability or straightforward lying. They don't have the evidence of the latter, but there certainly seems to be some suggestion that NHS health, NHS health boards in Scotland have been up to some, some 
uh, accountability yeah, dissembling that yeah. they shouldn't be doing. So, that's true. So I think the I think the line of attack is right, and I think she got she got the boot in quite well when she actually said, "I think there ought to be a right to having a straight first minister and a right to tell the you know allusion to the constitutional bit." Anyway, I actually thought she did quite well compared to various other enough. things. What about Alex Salmon? I give Miller a ten. I think he pulled her legs off and you know <laughs> tied him up. I mean, I think he was. I thought he was at his best today. Because he did some of the things that I certainly think he, when he does it well, really deliver. A, he answers as much of the question, typical leader, um, as he wants to answer. Then he, then he goes on the attack and then he throws in, as we discussed beforehand, I wonder if he'll mention anything about what, what happened in the Section 30 debate in Westminster this week. And he did. And, you know, he didn't ask him to apologise for Anna Sawa. He made Anna Sawa look like a plonker and actually sent that to her. So I thought the combination of everything he did, I'd give him 11 out of 10. You know, I thought he, I thought he did really well. What about uh, Ruth? Well, I... I agree again with what Elliot said about Ruth. Her delivery, uh, and what you said, but she's a she's been a TV presenter. So her delivery is is modulated. It's good stuff. But actually, I don't think she, uh, you know, is this a big deal? It's not a big deal. I mean, whether it's a hundred percent correct or not, that the five hundred million actually is all dealt with, uh, by in terms of the bypass around Aberdeen, I don't know. But she should be as as the Tory party who run the UK. She ought to be able to come up with something better than that, in my opinion. You so think, well, you think she'd have some decent research? Well, facilities and well, resources. You, but you would. I mean, again, she actually asked the question. She knew he was going to say it, and then she was going to say, ah, right, sorry you saying that, but you're lying again because your pal up there and your pal over there actually said something else in the press this week. Now, Simon ignored that and just went back to the same story and said, look, do you think, should we have spent the money on something else? Should we have wasted it? Do you think we wouldn't spend the money? <laughs> so it was actually quite good. So she was okay. We Willie, actually, I thought, um, I think he's on a good subject here. Interestingly enough, it's the it's the only it's it was the only element of the Liberal Party manifesto that had any real credibility. I don't think it did them any good, but everything else in the manifesto they either told lies about like <coughs> student fees or whatever, mumble grunt. So they they well, did the, the word credibility it, it was a credible was. opposition before the election. Yeah. And I I agree, I I I have worried myself a little bit about I, that. I find it quite interesting watching the Commons Section 30 debate, that the sensible big parties were the Liberals. Mm -hmm. Although mm -hmm. Ta Ta Tavi Scott and the Lords basically stuck the boot in as well. Oh, I grant you, you focused on the question. If you said the question was, a, yeah, was but completely I mean, they, biased. They, they, they were arguing the point that Scott, that the SNP had the landslide and the mandate, therefore you didn't really have a choice. You had to give them the Section 30. Right. Or you had a constitutional rally coming up. Well, in fact, we'll do a little bit on the Constitution after we finish this. Um, well, let's try run through the, the, the scores, uh, not if you don't mind. Uh, do yourself then, Stu. What did you, Ooh, Alex? Right. Start with me, Alex. Yeah, I have to agree. I think Alex had a much better performance this week. Um, and then, and there were a number of quotes which I always write down and I can always, always forget, but I'll use them <laughs> at some point in the course of this week. I, I, yes, I think he's back up there. 7.5. That's be awkward. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Joanna. Joanne, again, she stood up a bit like last week. Her, it's, I, I watched her body language when she first stands up and the hands weren't shaking when she stood up and she wasn't going like this with the, with the paper this week. Um, you know, John Spinney got telling off the other week for uh, demonstrating her... Oh, did he? Oh, no, it was Nicola was shaking. Yeah, shaking right. Anyway, they, they kind of take the mickey out of her right. performances. But she stood up with, with confidence, and as everybody says, the NHS is always going to be there as a target. It's a big monster bureaucracy. There will always be holes to be picked on. Um, and in a sense, I other people predicted the NHS would be her topic, policy topic. I also predicted that um, somehow or other the boot would go into Nicola Sturgeon because that seems to be the strategy so that went in. I'll give her uh, six. It's not too bad. Ruthie, I'm going to take, I'm going to write off the fact that she's a presenter in the sense I'm going to reduce her score. She should be, she's always going to be confident standing there so she shouldn't really get scored just for being, she needs to, she needs, she needs to be scored on what she says and her reaction, especially the second, her second question. I don't think she came out of that kerfuffle very good, so I'll just give her a three. 
Willie, I'd give him his, I'll give him his due. He's not rude. He sticks to his guns. He was polite with his objection to Salmon's first response. And is it a worthy, uh, worthy issue for... I'll give him a four. Ooh. Ooh. Phil? Salmon, I'll give him a straight ten, because he was, he was spot on. Um, on, on, on the way he answered the questions, the whole way he presented himself. Um, Joanne, um, it's the personalising. It really gets on my nerves. You know, it just really, really gets on my nerves. And it's that shifty look. She should really actually go on some kind of media course. She should actually present herself. No, the eyes are up and the eyes are sideways. I just Nixon went past my mind while yeah. I was watching it. Um, and apart from that, as being a party member, I'm sorry, I want somebody that is a credible opposition leader, and she's not. So, five. Ruth, uh, not really much. No, forget she's a Tory. Oh, no, I am totally forgetting she's <laughs> a Tory. But oh, no, you can't. Not. With the laugh and all the rest of it. I can't help it, I'm totally biased. Um, but I'll give her two. Oh, yeah. Willie? Willie actually gave, well, but when, when you actually look at the reaction from Salmon, when it came to answering Willie's, it was the only one where he just never shot straight in. Ah, you know, kind of very, very slight hesitation going. So I'll give Willie a four. Whoa. For a milk month. It was a, it's a good milk month. All right. Elliot? Uh, seven, nine. Uh, very good. Um, I'm not going to give him a ten, because ten's perfect, and uh, I'm not quite sure, but it was good. Um, particularly nine for being statesman-like. Um, Joanne Lamont, mm. I'm going to give her only one point. Um, and the reason for that is that I have no credibility in her... Uh, she gives no, no idea of, of having credibility and of intelligence. And to me, mm. that, that undermines anything else that she says or does. Um, she's not, in my view, fit for the role. So, one. Uh, Ruth, I'll give her three. Um... Boff, boff is all I can say there. Um, <laughs> EK, you know, she 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 got up. She she sounded presentable. She asked a question, kind of didn't really get anywhere. Three, fair enough. Um, Willie Reddy, I'm going to give five. Um, a little bit wooden, but sensible question. He strikes me perhaps as one of these people who who doesn't see politics as a game that he sees it as serious business. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. like that. Yeah. I like dull, boring yeah, politicians yeah, that, right. that understand that what they're engaged in is serious business. So I'm going to give him a five. He always but, tries to be dignified. Yeah. He doesn't do the, the mucking about. No. Um, I want to give seven points to the deputy presiding officer, <laughs> um, who I know we're not scoring, but... but I, think, I agree with you. I think he was much better than Trisha Marr. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I, I think I he's got natural authority. He uh, only had to speak once. I have to say that Willie Rennie um, and his victory speech when he won the Dunfermline by-election to become, I forget who he replaced, um, appeared on the Daily Politics show yesterday. It was part of the Guess the Year and Win the Mug. All right, man. So he made, he made a national was appearance. Good? Was that any good yeah. speech? <laughs> no, it's just a clip, you guys. He was rubbishing uh, Gordon no. Brown. Basically. I was. I'm not too. Alex first. first. Right. I, 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 the, as I said during the process, I'd give Alex 11, but uh, I agree with Elliot. Nobody's perfect. I'd give him 9. I think uh, Elliot's number is probably right. Um, I, although, to be frank, I can't off the top of my head say I've seen him better. But let's say we're 9 to be, to be sensible. Um, I'm very torn about. Uh, John Lamont. I, I agree totally with what Elliot says, but um, a script writer, I think, is on the money in terms of what she was attempting to do, um, as opposed to what the Tories were trying to do. Because as I said earlier, I think uh, Ruth Davidson's question is, you know, as somebody else said earlier, you know, they're all sitting there laughing like a bunch she's of just, bloody hyenas. She's just trying to make an impression. I know. So she'll get a, a, a safe Tory seat. Ah, sorry. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, look, so nine for Eck. Um, John, John, I'll give her f five um, because I, th I think the strategy was good. She's still what she is, but the strategy's good. Um, Ruth Davidson, I go down to three. 
because I think her delivery is good, but you know, who cares what she was talking about and the way she did it was, wasn't worth talking about really. Um, and uh, we really, I'll give him, uh, uh, I give him seven actually. Oh, yeah. because, be, well, because I actually, th I think the question, the question as we discussed, worries me. I think the way he re mm. responded to X first response was actually quite smart. And he has tried, as you guys have pointed out over recent weeks, I think he started off with a strategy of, of, of trying to be cute. And he decided, I better stop being cute and I'll just stick to being serious because we're in enough trouble. And I actually, I don't think it's going to get him particularly far, but I think his question was good and the way he asked it was good. Uh, so he's worth a seven to me. So what did we get there in our, in our age? Well, we'll start with the bottom, Ruth, but I'm sorry, I think there's an inbuilt bias. She's not that bad. She's on a 14. Mm -hmm. Willie next on 22. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, considering the lack of gravitas of the party has, he's obviously doing a good job for them, I yeah, would say. At the moment, yeah. Joanna Lamont, 23. Cool. But definitely an improvement. We've scored Willie higher. Alex, way ahead. Double points for everybody else. 45.5. That includes two tens. And uh, a seven for the prevailing and a seven for the Reynolds, who I think Which agree we all agree would all say that. brings oh, a bit more seven authority. Well. That, yeah. Yeah. Although you have to ask yourself, you know, are we back to the. He didn't have anything to deal with today, so are we, you know, would Trisha Marrick have done just as well by doing what he did? Maybe he, had, he, he sounds as though he's got a bit more authority. He's, he's, he's existing authority. They probably, mm -hmm. the, the, the MSPs are used to his authority and they just behave better. Yeah, that's probably it. They're and we probably, don't see them. When, yeah, when, so you know, when it's not being broadcast. Well, I mean, the last time he didn't muck about, he, no. he, yeah. you know, like you would sort of expect a deputy to take a bit of a back seat. Yeah. He definitely So did. he could well have been, the, he could have got the second highest score if we say seven yeah. times five. Yeah, 35. Yeah, no, that's probably true, yeah. I think we should score him because I think it'll be important in uh, the coming 18 months. Okay, well, I think I agree with you. Yeah, how Parliament... Yeah, well, I'd, I'd agree. I'd give him the seven. I'd well, seven. look, I'd have to say thank you very much, gentlemen, especially our, our special guests. And uh, we look forward to FMQs next week.